Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to take you through a beautiful uh, pre-owned 295 Monterey. Absolutely gorgeous boat. This boat is uh, just loaded with a ton of great features. And it does come with an aluminum tandem axle trailer. Just a great looking setup. Um, gonna give you just a quick walk around the boat. It's very sharp, the bottom's very clean. It's got a windlass up front. Spotlight, nice pull-up cleats, big windows in the side of this boat really make it sharp. And uh, I'll try my best to give you a good profile here of the outside of the boat. The uh, way they do that arch is just really, really uh, a good looking setup there. The tan uh, hull color, very sharp looking. Just a good looking overall package. Monterey makes such a great boat as well. Their fit, finish, and attention to detail is definitely noteworthy. That arch is a folding arch, so it hydraulically folds down. Just push a button, super easy. Bravo 3 drive, this boat is powered with the 82 Meg, the 380 horse. And uh, let's jump inside. First note uh, though, that nice big swim platform. Uh, all the sea deck flooring, just very, very sharp. All right, so we're gonna take a jump inside the cockpit here. And uh, the 295, it is just a big, open, nice setup. Love the way they do the Sun Island in the back of the boat here. It's very cool. This back seat can actually flip forward. Allowing you to uh, kind of lounge backwards. And uh, just a nice big uh, area for hanging out in the back of this boat. As you walk inside, you do have a nice big cockpit table here. Again, that nice sea deck flooring all the way around. And again, I, I always tell people the fit and finish in a Monterey is great. You look at the, the, the stitching, the stainless cup holders, even that nice captain seat with all that molded fiberglass backing, stainless trim work, really, really cool things. Big chase lounge going backwards there on the uh, port side, grab handle, cup holder. And then a nice compact wet bar here with a stainless grab rail, refrigerator, sink, Transom stereo control. The uh, transom shower is down there. Just a really, really sharp setup. And it's also no noteworthy to uh, kind of see how they do those molded in steps. That gives you just a great way to access the bow with that big walkthrough windshield. Get up to where that bow sun pad is. Uh, it's got nice cup holders, big stainless rails. Just a, a really safe way to get to the front of the boat. Take a look at the uh, helm seat here. A nice, big, wide flip-up bolster on it. The flip-down armrest, very cool. I like how they opened up the back of the seat as well to let some air flow through. Just a really nice setup. This boat here, you got a beautiful stainless wheel. The Raymarine uh, hybrid touch there in the middle. Beautiful array of gauges, nice paneling. Easy to use switches, stereo control spotlight control, trim tabs, VHF radios, everything just easy to get to. And take a look at, uh, you know, things like these nice stainless grab rails. Even the uh, stitch work over the eyebrow, that is very sharp. Just those little details that Monterey does to really take their boats a step up. All right, so let's take a walk down inside the cabin. A uh, huge opening here going down inside the cabin. It might be a little dark, hopefully we can still uh, see it pretty well, because the fit and finish and the detail work in a Monterey in their cabins is phenomenal. The uh, nice solid fiberglass liner up on the top, easy to keep clean, keeps the odors down. Beautiful wood flooring, uh, the laminate wood flooring. This one here, a little lighter colored interior woodwork. Beautiful galley. I like how they put that fiddle edge around the uh, stove top as well. Stainless fridge down below, nice solid surface countertops, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful cabin. Take a look at it from a little different angle here. That mid cabin is phenomenal, the way they did that. And the steps going down inside are all wood as well, uh, or the wood laminate. Again, that stainless fridge, nice sink, lots of storage, your microwave, TV, nice and convenient. There's a storage compartment over on the other side here. There it is. And uh, your air conditioning controls. 
So I wanted to put the V-Birth together uh, simply to show you when this is um, made into the sleeping arrangement and the dinette is out, it's big. I mean, it's a comfortable big area to sleep. You do have the mid cabin as well. We'll show you that here, but that is a very nice big uh, V-Birth when converted. As I mentioned a second ago, we wanted to look at the uh, mid cabin. It's big and it's open. Nice window back there, storage behind. Um, but you take a look back inside and that is just a very nice open mid cabin, nice headroom. Uh, just a, a really good setup from Monterey. They did a nice job with that. Another area in the 295 that I think is uh, something to take a look at is the head compartment. What a big open solid fiberglass molded head, uh, electric flush, solid uh, surface countertops, nice towel bar, you have a mirror, the ability to shower in there, window uh, for ventilation, stainless sink, just a, a very nice size head compartment for a 29 foot cruiser. All right, before we left you here, I wanted to make sure to show you this motor compartment. Commonly, motor compartments, I don't usually focus on too much, but this is absolutely beautiful. It is so clean, so well organized. The accessibility around this motor is phenomenal. Batteries are easy to get to. Um, you might notice there is an inverter in this boat. I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you in video, but everything is just easy to access your water system, water tank, waste tank, bilge pumps, just very, very well done, clean cut, um, just a, a great job from Monterey. One other thing I just wanted to point out, you probably heard me talk about it earlier, how the arch can actually fold. Um, you simply push a button, which is uh, down inside that compartment, and it, it can fold down. So for those looking to go into a garage or under a bridge, it's a, it's a pretty handy way to go, and truly, you'd take your VHF radio off, you'd take your uh, stern light down, but your height above the windshield is probably only a foot, so it really uh, cuts down a lot of height if you're trying to get it into that uh, special location or under a bridge. So, a nice feature uh, that you just don't see on a lot of boats, the ability to tip that arch down. So that kind of concludes a quick video walk around to this Monterey 295. Uh, for being a 2016, it's uh, it's definitely priced to sell. I would say it certainly looks uh, it looks to be in absolutely beautiful shape. It's been very well kept, very well cared for, well maintained, has a lot of great updates, and I really don't think there'd be any disappointments in this boat. Uh, again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. I appreciate you taking the time to view our video. Please call, text, or email with any questions. And I thank you again for uh, taking the time today.